this video, I'm going to talk about how we bought the bus. I knew that I wanted to do a conversion and I had been following a couple of van life conversions on YouTube and was really interested in that idea. The problem with the van idea is that it was not going to be big enough for our family which meant that I would have to wait until my kids were older and moved out of the house before I would be able to do any type of conversion. Then the idea hit me. What about a bus? So then my search began. I started looking online and finding all types of buses for sale through all different types of sellers. There were auction sites and then eBay and Facebook and probably others. I finally decided on Facebook because that's where I found a bus that I was interested in. To determine what type of bus I was interested in, I was, again, doing a lot of online research and decided that I definitely wanted a diesel over a gas engine. And the best diesel engine, according to several websites, was a Ford power stroke diesel engine and the 7.3 liter version of the 1990s has the best reviews that I had found. So when I saw on Facebook a 1997 Ford E350 shuttle bus with the 7.3 liter power stroke engine and only 40 to some thousand miles on it, I kind of thought that it might be too good to be true. So I was watching this bus on Facebook and it kind of came and went a couple of times. It was there, then it was pending, then it was gone, then it was there again. And I didn't quite have everything in place yet for buying a bus. And then I finally did get everything in place to be able to buy a bus. And the bus that I wanted was not on Facebook. So I was kind of disappointed. But a couple weeks later, there it showed up again. So I contacted the seller. It turns out that they had had a couple of potential buyers that uh, then ended up falling through. So the bus was located about six hours from where we live. And I knew that I didn't want to have to drive a vehicle and then drive two vehicles back. So we looked at airplane flights. So we found an early morning flight that would land us around 8 o'clock. And then we would take an Uber about an hour away to the location of the bus. From there, we made a fairly quick transaction with the sellers, purchased through PayPal, uh, signing the title and signing a bill of sale. And then the keys were handed over and we started our six hour drive home, which Ryan drove the whole way. So I was thankful for that, especially after we got home and I went to drive it and the driver's seat was in such bad condition, as in there was no support left, that I wouldn't have really been able to drive it anyway, because I couldn't see over the steering wheel. Since the bus was located about six hours away from where we live, we weren't going to be able to do an in-person inspection. So I was looking for online inspection companies, and I decided on Lemon Squad. The Lemon Squad report was very detailed, and I think it was worth every penny that we spent on it. It was a 67 page document. The first couple pages just gave a typed up summary of the inspector's findings. And then there were two pages of a checklist, which I will show you here. And I will also attach to the description of this video so you can see what all they looked at. And the remaining pages, pages 6 through 67, were pictures and pictures and more pictures of basically every aspect of the bus that you can imagine inside, outside, engine, tires, underneath, uh, just every angle. So it's good to be able to look at all those pictures. And from that report, we decided to go ahead and make an offer on the bus. And there you have it, my story of how we bought a bus on Facebook.